is to stuff. Good stuff, man. How much? Seven grand a kilo. Here's 20 kilos. It makes 140,000. Got enough cash for the deal. Hey, Lenny. Don't trick with me. Seven is too high. I can get the same stuff from the Chinese for five. Then go to the Chinese, man. I don't fucking care. But don't come back. If you do, the price is eight. Lenny, keep it straight. Let's make it six. If not, fuck off. How much you got? 120. Oh, let me see it. you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or five shots only? To tell you the truth after all this excitement, I lost count myself. Uh, if you want your head blown off, just try it. It's failures. Lenny, it's your choice. 20 years in hell, or let Rudolph... Oh. Hmm? No. Yeah! Right. Think about your wife, your kids, and your 70-year-old grandmother. I'm thirsty. They all depend on you. Understand? You fool! Stop it! I don't want to hear anymore. Yeah. Come on, Lenny. I want Rudolph, not you. All you have to do is testify against him. And we'll give you and your family 24 hour protection until Rudolph is inside. What about money? About half a million? I mean, US dollars, not francs. All right. I want a new ID and citizenship in the Bahamas for me and my family. Hmm. Before testifying against Rudolph, I want two of your best armed men by my side, and my wife and kids fly to the Bahamas as soon as possible with half the cash, okay? No problem. It's a deal. Okay. It's a deal. Hmm. 
That's enough. Yeah. Yeah. Lenny, don't worry. Alvin's working on him. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll phone you later. Come in. Hi there. Hmm. Did Lenny agree? Under certain conditions. What are they? His safety, 24-hour protection, money, and citizenship in the Bahamas. No problem. I'll have that arranged. Our mission is to get Rudolph and break the biggest heroin connection in Europe. If we can do that, no problem is too big or too expensive. All right. When do we get him through? It'll take 48 hours before you start. Why so long? Once Lenny signs a statement, we can bring Rudolph in. Look, Alvin, you know the rules. Rudolph isn't a small fry. I have to make a report to my superiors to get the warrants. I just can't wait to put that bastard behind bars and have my vacation. Me too. Look, you go prepare the statement for Lenny. I'll arrange everything here. Sir. Hold it. Go get Tim and James to protect Lenny. Will do. Hmm? What time is it? Why don't you get a new watch? Time is money. <laughs> I love this one. My old man gave it to me. It's six o'clock. Thanks. Hmm. I'll take care of that, 48 hours. Yeah, just long enough, no problem. One million, your Swiss account. Yeah, tomorrow, sure. So Lenny sold us out. And Alvin, that Interpol pig. I want those guys dead, now! I hope he likes it. Oh. I'm home. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello. Darling. Here's to our fourth anniversary. Four years. Four years, and it's the first Sunday we've spent together. <laughs> and I see you smile for the first time in months. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to go to celebrate our four years together? Well... A romantic candlelit dinner, then dancing, and find a small hotel, like before we were married. <laughs> and when I wake up next morning, I see bunches of flowers around. <laughs> Honey, I mean a vacation away from France. A one-month vacation, just you and me. Really? Oh, lovely. You're serious? Your case is over? Yes, I'm serious. Everything will be over in a week. And after that, me and my beautiful Donna will be on vacation. What do you say to Egypt? Mm. Mm, no, 
It's too hard. How about Switzerland? Hmm. You don't like skiing. Hey, I've got a good idea. How about... How about a kiss? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hey, you guys sure my wife and kids are on that plane? I want no mistakes. Sure. Our men will guard them till they get to the Bahamas. Well, that's good. Okay, let's go. Right. Boss, you're a traitor. And traitors must die. <laughs> There it is. Anniversary. <laughs> I'm afraid there won't be a fifth one. <laughs> Don't talk, I'll get an ambulance. <laughs> it's too late now. Please stay. Just stay. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> it's okay. Hold me. Okay, relax. I won't leave you. John. Donna. Do you like it? I like it. You know what I'm thinking now? I remember the, the old days. Gordon, do you remember, Gordon? 
Yes, I remember Gordon. If we can have a vacation, <coughs> we can go to Hong Kong <coughs> and see Gordon. <coughs> yes, we'll go see Gordon. <coughs> Promise me. <coughs> Don't take revenge. <coughs> Hold on, I'll take you to the hospital. No, please, no, no. Please, don't leave me. Alvin, I, I love you. Donna, 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 Donna. <laughs> when can we get Rudolph? Uh, look, Alvin, why don't you take a holiday and leave the rest to me? I want to know when we get Rudolph. We don't. We don't? What do you mean we don't? Aren't you going to prosecute that son of a bitch? Alvin, take it easy. The whole operation is off. There's no case against him. Lenny's dead. What? But Tim and James? We can't just sit here and let him get away with it. Of course not. I'm setting up a new squad to reinvestigate the whole case. Put me in charge. No, I won't. You're on leave. Why? Because after your wife's death, you're not fit for any investigative work. I don't need any help. Let me get Rudolph. No way. And besides, Rudolph's case is already in the hands of our international team, the Southeast Asia region. Why? Because Rudolph is no longer in Paris. He left last night. He left? To where? Hong Kong. Dinner then. 8.30 tonight? Casablanca. Fine, I'll book it. It'll be good to see you again, Superintendent. I'll look forward to it. Yes, indeed. I'll see you tonight then. Bye. Okay, Tiger. How's business? Very bad lately. Cops making it tough on me. There's no need to worry about that. As of tomorrow, I want all of our business moved to full operations. Oh, and by the way, you can tell our people that they don't have to worry about raids anymore. <laughs> I've taken care of it. Mr. Temple, please listen. I'm very grateful for the past years. I've grown very rich, and it's thanks to you. But now, I want to make some changes. What kind of change are you looking for? Well, I want to have a lot more authority. I'm not interested in those small shows. They're not challenging. I want something I can sink my teeth into. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you that chance. You're already handling the Aberdeen fleet for me, right? Well, I want you to get hooked into the fishing business. I want you to take over the fishing market and recruit a fleet for me. Hmm. Of course, I'm only interested in the Union and how we can use this fleet. Can you do that? Sure, that's no problem. Already, I'm chairman of the Fishermen's Union. It'll be easy for me to organize a new union. Good. If you can do this job well, I'll put you in charge of the entire South District. You know what that means. Wealth and power. Thank you. There are a lot of stubborn old fools still in Aberdeen. So if we don't move quick on this thing, then they're going to step all over you and you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Trust me, I can handle them. Excellent. And I'll leave this mission in your hands. 
Yeah? Mr. Rudolf Stewart wants to see you. Can I come in? Yes, I'm expecting him. Okay, I have a guest coming here, so you can go. And Tiger, hey, don't mess this up. Mm. Ah, Rudolph. Norman. Norman, how are you? Fine, thanks. Here, have a seat. How was your trip? Fine. Good. Well, there's been a lot of activity happening here. And most of it looks pretty good for us. <laughs> That's encouraging. Right. Cheers. To us and to our future business endeavors. <laughs> How's our investment? Everything's on schedule, don't worry. Which port are we going to use? Aberdeen. Cheers. dinner, then dancing. Then we find a small hotel, like before we were married. And when I wake up the next morning, the room is filled with bunches of flowers. I'm Alvin. I'm now in Hong Kong. I'm at the Meridian Hotel, room 264. Please call me back. Get him. Right, let's go. Stuff from the Gulf of Thailand and bring it to Aberdeen to repack. Then we send it by train to Peking. 
from Peking. The Orient Express takes it to Moscow, through Poland, and on to Holland. You're crazy. Through Russia? That's impossible. It's never been done before. Well, I'm going to be the first. The more risks we take, the greater our profit. So, where are you going to get it refined? Mm. Probably Poland. <laughs> you know, Rudolf, your mother was right. You are a maniac. Hold on. Boss, it's Tiger. Hmm? What's up? Pekin's being caught. Was he clean? Yes, I'm sure of it. Good. Find him a good lawyer. At any cost. Tell me, who pulled him in? It was Gordon. Mr. Temple, one more thing. The old man Mao's making trouble again. That son of a bitch again? Okay, you try and put some pressure on him. Problems? No, just a storm in a teacup. Good. Well, I've arranged a table tonight at the Peninsula Hotel so you can uh, meet some of our associates. Excellent, Norman. Gentlemen, we have a very special mission. This man's name is Tiger. He has a link with one of our superintendents. And our job is to stop him before he can cause a scandal. Has anybody heard of him? That asshole works out of Aberdeen. Deals in all that shit. Gambling, whores and drugs. He's got a lot of muscle. There's four of us. What the hell can we do? Are we gonna work alone? Sorry, Gordon. We already have two undercover agents in the area now. Jesus. This is Vivian. She's not a policewoman. We just pulled her out of reform school. But don't worry, you can trust her. She was born and raised in Aberdeen, so she's familiar with the people and what goes on there. We made a deal with her, and that is, if she helps us succeed with our mission, we'll wipe her record clean and help her emigrate to Canada. So she's going to try her best to help us get the information we need. I'm confident you can trust her completely. She's got everything to gain from helping us. She's a tough cookie. She can look after herself. She's a skilled fighter and full of courage. And this is Jackie. He's just graduated from a police training unit. He's posing as a doctor in Aberdeen. He's our link man. He's a really tough guy and knows exactly what he's doing. And if you want any information from him, you have to become one of his patients, giving a code name, of course. What do you want us to do? Keep your eye on Tiger. He'll lead us to Norman. Norman's the one calling the shots. Any questions? All right, get out of here. Gordon, sit down. You're a good cop, but I don't like your style. To each his own. You're too violent. You give the police a bad name. I'm not a babysitter. Times have changed, Gordon. No more cowboy cops, understand? Oh, sure. I hope so. Cross my heart. <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> Please don't disappoint me again. Show you your room later. 
Sit down and relax. I'll fix us some drinks. Thanks. Son of a bitch. Will you help me, Gordon? I'll do whatever I can. What do you know? A man called Rudolph sent two ninjas to kill me. They killed Donna before I could do anything. Where's Rudolph now? He's here in Hong Kong. Here's a photo of him. Gordon! Come on in. Alvin. Mm -hmm. This is my partner, John Lee. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, John. What do you want to drink? Can't stay. We've got to go. If you're busy, don't worry about me. Listen, John, I want you to help Alvin. He's looking for this man. He'll explain everything to you. Hmm. Well done, Gordon. You arrest a punk, beat him up, and the guy's clean. You threw it away before I can get my hands on him. Evidence. I need evidence. Instead of us prosecuting Wilson, the DA will probably prosecute me. What am I going to tell him? Tell him to fuck off. Be serious, Gordon. I've been instructed by the commissioner to prepare a detailed report to explain this mess. What am I going to do now? Why don't you try telling him the truth? You give me nothing but problems. I've got it up to here with problems with that young fool, Edmund. Who the hell is Edmund? Uh, he's just a kid. Tiger murdered his father, and he took it on himself to seek revenge. <laughs> That's what I call stupid. That's what I call guts. What do you mean by that? You wouldn't understand. Can I leave now? Go. I've been Gordon's partner for a long time. He's a good guy. He'll help you get your man. And I think you've got it right. I know lots of kids around here and they agree with you. And there should be no trouble finding Rudolph in just a few days. Well, I hope not. I've arranged for us to meet Peter now. He's damn good, but you have to pay. No problem. He's in the park waiting for us. Just take it nice and easy. I will. Good morning, Peter. Ah, Inspector. What's up? I'm looking for this guy. Never seen him. But I'll find out. Good. Any information, page me. You know my number. Sure. No problem. But how about... This is the first $500. 
You're a generous man. No worries. I won't let you down. I'll trust you. All right. He's called Rudolph. What's up? Boss, I just met Dirty John. So, what about him? He came with a black guy. They're looking for a bloke called Rudolph. Hmm. What? They're looking for him. Okay, Peter. I will handle it. Keep in touch. Yes, boss. Son of a bitch. You're still after me. Well done, Nicky. You can go. Yes, boss. Tell me, who is this guy? Uh, it's a private matter. You need my men? That's all right. I'll look after this. Danny? Uh, yes? Make it clean. Yes, boss. I think we ought to check down here. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, we'll go around here. Mm. This way. What's up? Ah, there's a bunch of assholes fucking around in the harbor area, attracting the cops' attention to my investments and screwing up all of my business. Who are they? Ah, some kid named Edmund and a girl called Vivian. Ah, but Tiger can handle them. And this guy's Gordon. He's got his eye on me. Let me see. This is Gordon's partner, John. And the guy beside him, I presume, is the one who's looking for you. Yeah, that's the bastard from Paris. He tried to nail me, but he failed. I guess he's here to take revenge for his wife. My men happened to kill her. Sure, sure. Now back to business. How are your uh, calculations? Well, if everything stays on schedule, our first product should hit the market by April next year. Well, I don't know how you do it, but that is fantastic. <laughs> We've got to carry out the plan. Yeah. Us too? Yeah, you go. All right, come on. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go sit over there for a while. Sure. 
Yeah, hey, what time the hour's coming, huh? I don't know. I hope they see you soon. Looking forward to a pretty good game. Should yeah. be good, I think. You know, our side's pretty good right now. Excellent. Okay. Good actors. Mm, yeah. That was a great game, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It's almost time. You were pretty good on the court today. Thanks. So did you. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Not up to your Here they come. Yeah, I know. Well, it's a way to Hey, yeah, I know. Hey, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hey. <laughs> how you doing? Waiting for your girlfriend? Yeah. Kiss <laughs> off. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Here. Catch this one. Think fast. <laughs> hey, got it. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Bye. They're not leaving. Let's go. Freeze, cop! Our mission is terminated, and our squad will be dismissed. We find out that Temple is probably involved in drug smuggling, and now the commissioner wants us to stop our investigations. I don't get it. Damn it, Gordon, you can't just go around killing people, especially Temple's men. He was trying to kill me. You know that's different, but you've still got to have witnesses. I'll remember that next time. There won't be a next time. You've been suspended. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. You can't suspend me. Why not? <laughs> because I quit. Gordon, something wrong? I quit my job. What about Norman Temple? I'm going after him on my own. <laughs> we can work together now. Let's start with the henchman. Right. <laughs> Hmm. 
I need the best quality. Okay, but it's not here. One of you can come with me. What do you think? Okay, you go with him. Peter, I'll meet you later. Hmm. I'll tell you. Talk! Tomorrow, at 4 o'clock, at the Alpha Park. They're gonna make a deal there. I'll kill you if you lie to me. Shit! Yeah. Uh -huh. Paul, tell Lydia to contact our lawyer. Nikki's been arrested. Yes, boss, he will. Jeffrey's been killed, and now Nikki's arrested. Damn it! Take it easy. For the time being, let's just concentrate on our business. Don't worry. The big drop's still on schedule for the day after tomorrow. Hmm. Good. Hello? Norman Temple? Yeah, who's this? My name's not important. You only need to know that I'm responsible for killing those men. Okay, what do you want? I challenge you and your partner, Rudolph, to meet me. Why should we? Because you're ninjas. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a businessman, and I don't particularly take kindly to people harassing me. Now, if you keep calling me, I'm gonna have to call the police on you. Is that? I don't care who they are. Anyone who steps in the way must be removed. Good. Call Tiger and get rid of them. I don't want any more troubles. Well? Yeah. Good. Go and get Tiger. Right. What's wrong? Shit! Tiger's been arrested! What? What happened to our stuff? It was torched! Burnt? Who did it? Probably that renegade cop and the ninjas. Fuck! Our plan's up in smoke. Even you can't ship another consignment by next week. It'll be too late. We can't do it anyway. Without Tiger, we've lost control of Aberdeen Harbor. Shit! 
Come in. Somebody sent this for you, sir. All right. Uh, you can go. Ninja challenge. Oh, shit. Hello, Temple. Are you ready to meet with me? First of all, you're gonna have to tell me who you are. Knight of Justice. I don't care who you are. We're ready to meet you. Tomorrow at dawn, at the reservoir. To the death. To the death. Knights of Justice. I'm gonna kill you like I killed your wife. <clears throat> Stay calm. Are you afraid? You talk too much. Don't waste any more time. To the death. Uh-oh. <laughs> 